Hey guys, Glock 42 here. Well, we're out in the boonies doing some hunting, and uh, I picked up uh, this uh, multi cam. Well, the only time we ever wore a cam was when I'm out, out in the boonies hunting. And uh, this is Popper's brand, I believe. Let's see. Nope. Sorry, proper. 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 Um, P R O P P E R. I picked this set up at uh, Stapleton's Great Adventure Company out of Regina. Reasonably good price, 100 bucks. It's uh, it's the 3XL set. It actually fits a little big on me, which is fine because there's not a lot of uh, well, there's no uh, insulation in the value of this at all. So uh, what I usually do is, as you've seen, I've got my Under Armour, some polar fleece, and this. So I've got the bigger size. You get a bigger size, it works. It works really well. It uh, covers up, but there is a few. If you want to wear it to, uh, you know, go out camping, shooting, and that kind of stuff, it's great. For hunting, not so great. There is a few issues. Uh, the first issue that this is a cotton poly blend, and it's going to get up really close. It's really noisy. So when you're walking, you've got your legs rubbing apart, your legs rubbing together, so it is kind of noisy. Uh, that's all right, but one of the big, big deficiencies in this jacket is you've got two smallish pockets on either side, which is great. You've got some arm pockets. I guess if you want to put pens in there, a few things in there. I got all my um, hunting info in there. Um, another nice tag, another nice big pocket here, and it's all Velcro, so you can get your, your patches on there. But they forgot. One very important thing, there's no side pockets. There should be some big pockets right here. There's nothing. There's no pockets anywhere other than these. That is a major, major deficiency as far as I'm concerned. Um, I can't understand why in the world they wouldn't put big ass pockets in there. Uh, which really surprises the heck out of me why they haven't put pockets. To me that's that's enough to say, you know, for the hundred bucks, I don't know if I'd, I'd recommend them just based solely on that. Now, of course, I've got a pocket in my in my in my polar fleece underneath, and I usually carry my uh, backpack with me. But still, not having any pockets, I think that's a real real big thing. So I'm just gonna move the camera over, and you just get an idea of how this multicam blends in with the surroundings. So here we are, coming out of an evergreen forest into a deciduous, just into uh, into um, thistle field, and. Uh, as you can see, it, it does a pretty good job of blending in. Um, it's a nice system. I think maybe maybe give it a wash and throw some fabric softener on it. It might might soften this clothing up. It's a uh, cotton poly blend, 65% uh, polyester and 35% cotton. It has a zipped up front with uh, one, two, three velcro velcro vel velcro closures. It uses uh, Metal zipper with plastic teeth. It zips up nice. It's a nice comfy outfit. It's very comfortable. It's a nice comfy jacket. Um, I just wish it had some pockets here. Hey guys, Glock 42. I just thought I'd do a quick uh, update on this multicam. It's still noisy, but it actually seems to be getting a little quieter the more I wear it. This is day three out in the boonies with it. Um, the pants have quietened right down. Um, so that, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. And uh, as you can see, it it's it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool camo. Um, pretty cool pattern you know I'm not sure uh, for this type of environment it seems to work pretty good so uh, like I said um, a couple things I forgot when I did my initial review here let me just roll the camera around here the uh, stitching is first rate it's got very good stitching the stitching in the pants is all good deal on the seams it's all of course double stitched um, very cleanly stitched very clean seams Nicely put together. All, everything looks to be very good quality, and I guess for the price it should be. Um, the only thing I wish it did, I'm still get harping on these pockets. And I can understand why they probably didn't put it on there for persons wearing a combat vest or the chest pouch. You know, you may not be able to reach them. I, I think that probably was the logic behind that. Although for a civilian use, I, I'd sure like to have that on there. But um, like I said, the more I wear this, it seems to be. You know, getting a little bit quieter. You know, it's still hard, 
a good wash with maybe some uh, fabric softener. We'll, we'll, we'll try that again. We'll see it. But like I say, the quality of this, you don't can't be beat. It's extremely well made. And uh, given that, I, um, you know, as a BDU, it's a well-made product. And uh, other than the lack of pockets, it's, it's pretty good quality. So uh, take that for what it's worth, guys. And uh, we'll see you around later.